we basically lost everything that we had, um, all of our belongings, everything that we bought. Um, my mom said, just in case anything happens, in case we underestimated this, we were gonna make sure that all of our documents are safe. We put our legal documents on top of this um, the kitchen cabinet. My name's Diana Platas. I am 19 years old. I am a DACA recipient. I'm not sure how the renewal process is gonna happen for me. My expiration for my work at Thursday agent isn't set until after the six months that the president has assigned. I was only two years old when I came here, so yeah. We're not here by choice, we were here because our parents essentially brought us as kids and this is all we know, this is where we learn how to read, this is where we learn how to write, this is where most of us learn how to speak. But we, we know that there are in Houston around 80,000, you know, uh, DACA applicants. What we will do if somebody doesn't have something, I, I believe we'll still submit the application by the deadline. And in the past, they would send us with something is missing or really, you know, kind of augment it and send it later. To me, it was, it was very cruel time to have another thing that will create all this fear. Uh, my name is Juan Leja. I'm 21 years old. I'm a DACA recipient, um, and I lost part of my house due to the Harvey flooding. The work permits, I don't know if they're going to avoid it. Um, I, I, it's up in the air at this point, and that really scares me because um, I don't know what's to come. Um, when we saw that the, the water was rising, one of the first, the first thing I got was my legal documents. I didn't even think about getting my clothes. For me, it's something cruel and inhumane that the government has done, especially the Trump administra administration. Um, they've just kind of left us all, of on our, all, our, all on our own.